This is going to be a quick video about the length of the GTS 450. This is a Cyclone 1 gig GTS 450 and uh, as I said before this is going to be a quick video because there's not a whole lot to say. It is 21 centimeters long and uh, for my American friends who also view my channel it is 8 point... hold on Let's get that lined up. Eight and a quarter inches long. That is how long the GTS 450 is. So if you wanted to uh, measure from the PCI plate in your case to the back of the card, then that would give you a fairly representative idea. But, but wait, there's more. Hold on. Actually, where's my, uh, where's my stupid adapter? I had a six pin adapter around here somewhere. Oh, I think I'm actually using it on my test bench right now. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna find a way to make this work. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I found a modular cable from another power supply that I had lying around. So, okay, when you're measuring the space that the card takes up, just bear in mind that even though it's eight and a quarter inches, 20, uh, no, I forget, 21 centimeters long, at the top of the card, you may need a little bit more space. So you see up here, when you've actually got the six pin power connector plugged in, with cable bend, even if you're bending it at a pretty tight radius, you're probably going to need about 25 centimeters of space uh, just at that one point up here at the top of the card. So bear that in mind. If your hard drive cages are like right up against the card, that power connector is going to be uh, a bit of a bear to deal with. So there, that is my video on the length of the GTS 450. This is the Cyclone 1 Gig Edition from MSI.